Oh, I just downloaded it. It took all cool. five seconds. How do you get how do you, uh, I don't want to be that guy, but how do you get it? Google it. Uh, just yes, right. Google it. You for sure. Download it. <laughs> GTS. <laughs> just download it, install it, and you're good. We can awesome. open the dot a c m i file. Tacview.net. <laughs> that was, that's crazy. It's actually... There was some F4s just flying around with us that whole time, and they didn't attack us. That's kind of weird. What, really? I didn't even see them on my RWR. Hey, uh, who was who was spinning a right hand uh, orbit in the in the Marshall? That was a Chevy flight. All right, Roger. I think they were told to at the end, weren't they? There were no mid airs, so it's all good. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we usually spin a left. Yeah, uh, okay. it's better to uh, it's better to do a left hand orbit. The way you would do a gotcha. pattern orbit. Yeah, but there's yeah, well, a call out from to be running a, one of them in a right hand from memory. Yeah. <clears throat> this is actually good tool to have, kind of a good training thing to go back and there's the MiG look at your flights. I had put a MiG yeah, 20, a lone MiG twenty one in the mission on it. I didn't see him on my RWR the whole time, and there he is. Somebody bagged him. Yeah, someone it's snuck behind behind us. And oh, did I I was even. really uh, yeah! I saw the F4, or the MiG-21, what was it? <laughs> There's Hornets yeah. Dive. Hornets what? Dive. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. I was going after a MiG-29 that I realized that somebody had already hit. No, this was when you had to go swimming because of your gear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks like, did Saber get a guns kill on an F5? No, nah, that wasn't me. Oh, it looks like it was Shadow. No, that was a... Uh, yeah, Shadow got it. I tried to get it for like 90% of my gun ammo and I couldn't get him down. And then I yeah. spent up the last of my gun ammo taking down the C-130 that was trying to evac. Nice. <laughs> What's it called? Is there a way to like free look around or do you have to be locked into an object for... Uh... Tech view. I think you can free look around. I'm trying to figure out how to like unlock into an object. I think you can select other players too, or scroll down your flight log. Yeah, you definitely can. Yep, you sure. All can. right, cool. I got this. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing here. Thanks. No problem. Looks like <sighs> looks like our Harriers did some work. Dropped their bombs. That's cool. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it looks like we uh, beat the crap out of that salt worm site. Yeah, sure did. Ooh, the good thing there is was we a lot of Harry though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I came in late. I thought it was at one o'clock, and yeah, I'm not good at stuff. Sorry. I, I got oh, I got in the air and turned around and landed again. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, got the uh, yeah, I got to practice landing a uh, heavy. Block from doing a carry landing. He just crashed. I just oh. gave the carrier a little bit of a push, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like our cap flights did did the right thing. Our Harriers didn't get molested by any MiGs. Every time I try to fly a Harrier on Wingman Finder, I always get shot down by a MiG. I had one get really close to me, but uh, around the time I Fox 2 down it, it got hit by a 120. Oh, nice. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I just hate night. I don't operate so well at night, even with night vision. Oh, oh I, I did see. hit something. <laughs> so those F5s we were going at there. Let's see, yeah, what happened with all these okay, F5s? Wait, wait a minute. He successfully splashed I, one shadow. I got one. I got two kills. Uh, my one 120. Kill, one A, one for so it's not Ooh, my other one twenty myth was completely one also in there as well. Yeah. Ooh, so. one of my nine X's did something real funky when it was going after an F five. Really? What yeah, I just saw yeah. that. It did some weird like jink and just lost all of its energy. I was wondering why <laughs> that one didn't get shot down. I was very confident in that nine X, but uh, didn't quite do the job. 
That's all right. We uh, bad. yeah, yeah. We did a we did a mission uh, a month or so ago. I shot a nine X and an F five. Totally got spoofed by the F five, and then uh, uh, Spud got it with a twenty year old freaking missile on a F fourteen. <laughs> Oh, Spud, you were the one who, like, smacked that, um, thing, right? Oh, I shot down the 20. I didn't even realize I shot down a 21. I thought it was just another F5. I yeah. know, right? I uh, yeah, good job, Radio. I never saw a yeah, 21 what's it called? on my RWR. I thought it was all F5s. The Same, problem yeah. is the RWR was so overwhelmed by our own fights and the other, uh, you know, sound launchers. Oh, my uh, goodness, yeah, there F5. was so much stuff on the RWR. Yeah. You, you guys know about the offset button, right? <laughs> yeah, I just know? was uh, yeah. in the middle of engaging and never got the chance to turn it on. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I got some offset? hits on this F5 with guns. Yeah, offset. And off the offset button is on, it's next to the power button for the RWR. And when you turn that, yeah, I saw it kind of what separates it is. all of the different uh, RWR contacts, but it... The, the problem with it, though, is like if a SAM locks you up, it gives you a bad azimuth as to where that SAM is. But in terms of air to air, it's good for air to air, right? It's better for like figuring out what it exactly is locking you so that all the symbology isn't always on top of each other. Like when, you know, there's a, like a SAM site uh, together. Yeah, Roger. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Where were all the uh, 29s at? I never saw them at all. I know they're out there. Uh, they were headed with, uh, who was it? Cobra, yeah, Hudson. Ah, oh, yeah. there they yeah, are. Yeah. yeah. Colt, Colt, um, Colt bagged the uh, T29s, I believe. I think there was only yeah. two. Yeah, there was yeah, only they two. Came out, uh, they came out towards the Harriers and Colt, hmm. and Colt got them. Good job, yeah. boys. So, I dropped. I hit a ZSU-23 with four Mark 83s. Wow, you really... It survived. It wow. survived? <laughs> wow. It survived. It's it's impressive. Impressive. It's a PCS damage model there. Yeah. Splash damage. Oh, man. I just saw, oh, oh, man. I just saw TX it's take funny. two SA-8s. That's, that hurts. Oh, no, they're resting yeah. two. <laughs> oh, man. I thought those 29s... I just looked at the track for the 29s and... After they smacked um, Digi, I thought they were going to start tearing through you guys, but you got them pretty quick. Uh, Hudson took a, uh, which is actually my first name, so that's kind of funny. Um, huh. Hudson, took, Hudson took a uh, R73 from one of those MiG-29s. Yeah, I just, oh, yeah, I see that. Him getting hit by that. Digital looks like Cobra and... Um, oh, well, it looks like... Did, did Digital Graves... Kill each other on that one. Uh, Digital Graves. What is he flying? He's an F-18C. Uh, he, Digto Graves. I don't, I'm not sure how to say it. Dig Dig two Graves. Two, Dig Dig two Graves. Two. Oh yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I've been calling him Digit. Yeah, no, uh, he got smacked by one. Oh yeah. He, he turned cold right at the wrong time. If he turned into that Mig, he would have avoided that shot. Never turn away from yeah. a missile, boys. That that'll kill you. Yeah, TX got this, smacked uh, by the Sams just before then. Yeah, what happened to Hudson? Yeah. What did he do? Yeah, Hudson was so close to getting to the way of that missile. Oh, Hudson got splashed too. I didn't even see him. Yep. Yeah, it's actually because at night, the, situ the situational awareness is, you know... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah that night time is, is tough, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But hey, it makes, it makes it more fun when it take, uh, when landing. Because yeah, you have to cool. rely on your instruments. And... Yeah. yeah. It looks like Kex and Kuda came in for a quick uh, revenge, though, on this plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was expecting the worst. I thought it was going to be bad weather, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it would be, like, K like legit K3. Well, you can't yeah, see I'll... shit with your NA, your INVGs. I even did, did a mission for me to practice it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was Wait, expecting, like, 1,000-foot ceilings. Yeah, well, it's better to pra yeah. better to practice when it's hard than and then make it easy in combat, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this C-130 just casually cruising through the AO. The whole time. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. That's funny. <laughs> until until I come I... in, tail it for a very valiant gun skill. That's a 
<laughs> That's a navy. I like how there. I like how no one else noticed it uh, <laughs> other than us. Yeah, it, it like almost got completely past everyone out of the AO until I randomly <laughs> noticed it in the middle of the uh, furball on the SA page. The... I was like, "What in the world is that sneaking by?" Yeah, that was very. That was kind of weird. I didn't think he was just going to be orbiting the whole time. I thought he was going to try and bug out at some point. I mean, it, that's what he was doing, but he bugged out through the entire furball. Over. Uh, uh, the question is: Is there rest. any SA sixes left? I think all the SA sixes got splashed because we got. I don't see any of them. We got messages. There's this one on the thing. island. That forge just flew in circles all mission. Yeah. Interestingly. Uh, I wish they modeled Qatar into the Persian Gulf. Right. Oh, actually what the F4s did, it looks like, is they took off, flew in circles, and then landed again. Yeah, that's... that's they interesting. Were from the very start of the mission, so... They were originally... I was trying to do a new trigger where they would spawn after a flag is tripped so that they would intercept oh, okay. us on the way home to the carriers rather than on the way to oh mm, that's why you were calling awax for pictures yeah uh -huh. exactly. it was kind of like where oh, okay. are these guys <laughs> they're supposed to kill us yeah. where are they <laughs> exactly yeah uh, it looks like kex got nailed by an sa8 as well Mm, pretty close to about the same time as me. <laughs> Uzi letting us down. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like... I don't think I ever actually entered the SAM net except for once just barely skirting by as I chased down that C-130. We did some work on those boats. Yeah, we yeah. sure did. Yeah, how'd that yeah. go? I need, a, I need a scroll yeah. back and look at how these bombing runs went. Yeah, that first well, boat you hit, it was such a big explosion. I, I couldn't I couldn't drop the smoke uh, <laughs> cover the targets. I had to pull off. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was that was two Mark 83s on that bad boy. Yeah, I dropped two on mine, too. Let me just uh, state that. <clears throat> We're getting JSOs, guys. Oh, my goodness, did, JSOs. Did you see the video? Honestly, yeah, I've, just, dropped, I've, I've, dropped, seen I've dropped a couple uh, JDAMs, and honestly, it's a boring weapon. Like, you just fly over, and you drop them, and then you just fly away. Yeah. You know, there's no I mean, way. listen. I, 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 com but, I completely agree. I think it's more fun to drop Mark 83s. Well, I can't wait to but, drop LGBs, you know, where you find the target with your targeting pod and laze it, and then you that, know, that'll be fun. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that's definitely. what I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna in like real life, JDAMs, it would be but... it would be better for you to drop JDAMs, you know? Oh, of in course. Real life, oh, yeah. I mean, in real well, life, I guess, if I was and... actually getting shot at, yeah, I'm gonna drop some JDAMs and get the hell out of there. Yeah. Well, I guess in real life, they'd use a K-Slam. Oh, yeah. And just launch it from 80 miles away. <laughs> the JDAM yeah. will be more fun with the targeting pod also, because then you can... Hey, for... Yeah, you can we are, I think we're getting the targeting right. pod. Yeah, I think we're getting the targeting pod May eighth. Oh, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, nope. yeah. that 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 seems too. Yeah, good. Good. Let's uh, just all okay. hope. Why are you guys so? Getting the, uh, <laughs> well, and it's, it's going to be the uh, it's going to be the lightning two too. It's not going to be the actual yeah. It's a lightning one. two targeting pod. A yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Next pack. It's going to be in the next patch. Trademark. Yeah. <laughs> Trade Let's go. We yeah. will probably get the uh, the what's it called the JSAS next patch, I guess, since they got it in yeah, internal yeah. already. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, the lightning pod will be interesting because it actually does have a much better field of view and better clarity than the Atflir pod, but you can't use it on a carrier mm. because it sticks too far down under the center line of the jet. You probably smack it on the. Mm. Ramp. It works great in the uh, A10. Yeah, the, and the too. Had, did it, did Anyways, American guys, Hornets uh, never... Uh, we'll see you guys later. Later. See you later. later. See ya. See later. See you. Uh, guys, job, guys. Well, hopefully it'll look better than the Super Nintendo on the Tomcat. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty cool, actually. I think it just adds another kind of layer of retro awesomeness yeah. to the Tomcat. Did I will the, say uh, that from the Rio spot, it is it's a very intuitive flare to use. I actually prefer to use that over the the um you know the uh the Harrier's pod. It's it's just well, the with the Harrier, joystick, it's very easy to use. Well the Harrier is also a little, tiny squirrely little jet that you gotta like stay on top of while you're trying to slew the 
the pot around and all that and it's just kind of a whole mess yeah sure is it's and it's very convenient to have a whole person doing nothing but running the flare yeah. yeah it looks like a lot of fun if i had a lot more disposable money i'd pick up the f14 but alas yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I've been flying the Tomcat and the Hornet, and it's tough to remember how to fly both of them at the same time. <laughs> yes, what's it the, is. I'm very happy. Uh, what's it called? A lot of people, the F-14 is like their childhood like favorite jet. The F-18 has always been my childhood favorite jet. Yeah. What, what were you saying I about, never, like, about, about, the, about American Hornets? No, did the American Hornets never carry the Lightning II on the cheek station? Because if you look at if you look at photos online, that's where the Spanish Hornets carry theirs. The Australians do too, but I don't think that the U.S. Hornets are wired to do that. Yeah, I have no idea. You're talking about where one of the 120s would be at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the the Atflair pod goes there, and the wiring would have to be similar anyway. So. It'd be similar, yeah. yeah uh, I guess so. it's just operating procedures that they don't yeah i do know that the lightning pod is much much more sensitive than the atflare pod so it, you, you can't use it on a carrier because you'll break it right yeah i'd imagine so yeah however that's fine less chances for me to uh smack into the fantail again flying yeah. the lightning <laughs> whoops <laughs> <laughs> oh man i was i was so excited because it felt like it was going to be textbook and then i was maybe looking a little bit too much at the meatball and not enough at my uh, vvi because the, i like glanced forward again uh stop and look at the meatball and maybe i was straight into the van tail and i was like Bob. oh yeah tried to it's, tried to power on a little bit too late <laughs> it, it felt textbook until it didn't yep pretty much <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta you gotta punch out before you hit it <laughs> yeah it's a bit slow on the reaction times that time but it was good practice. I only got like two or three practice landings in before uh, I had to go play some armo with a different group. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah doing some insurgent stuff. Although it was a pretty clear night. We could have done case one recoveries. It was The weather was pretty nice. Yeah, probably yeah. could have. Wouldn't that be technically like a case two if it's at night? Or... I actually, no, I think case, I actually, I think case two's. Like, yeah. I think case two is during the day with cloud coverage. So you fly ICLS. As a straight in. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, I, I think the case is basically just have to do with. I don't know for a fact. I'm just assuming, but I think it's just the. Uh, I think the weather and not the time of the day is what makes it a certain type of landing. I think nighttime, no matter the weather, is always supposed to be case three. Yeah, oh, let's Google it. Let's Google this shit. Yeah, it, <laughs> that, that is true. Case one is during the day zip loop. You know, you know, it's really cool. If you kind of zoom out on tack view and look at the two carrier battle groups and then you zoom forward kind of fast, it looks like all the jets just coming off of them, then converging at waypoint two and then heading to waypoint three. <laughs> and all the mm -hmm. jets are doing their thing. It's really cool. <laughs> it does look real neat, yeah. And then you can see the F the F4s out there just like doing their minding their own business and we don't even see them. They're yeah, just, just out there. Derping but... around a bit. <laughs> yeah. That was a fun one. That's really yeah, fun. it was. Thanks for putting it on, Spud. Yeah, thanks a lot of it. Thanks, Good time. Thanks for joining, guys. We had a bunch of new people, it seemed like. Yeah. All right, I got, I got the answer. Case one occurs when flights are anticipated to not encounter instrument conditions during daytime, and the ceiling of visibility and care are no lower than 3,000 feet, so 3,005. It says case two happens when flights encounter instrument conditions during daytime departure recovery and the ceiling and visibility in the carry control zone are no lower than a thousand feet, five nautical miles. And case three exists when flights are expected to encounter instrument conditions during departure recovery base ceiling around the carrier, thousand feet, five nautical miles for night departures or recovery. So yeah, I guess all night landings would be case three. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Even if yep. even if you if it is unlimited visibility at night, it's just it's still not near, anywhere near what you would get during the daytime. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So I guess regardless of the type of landing you make, if it's at night, it's case three. So even if it's nice out and you just enter their standard pattern, you know, you're still doing a case three. Or if you shoot an ICLS approach, it's still the same. That makes sense. I oh, God. I just I sure just watched my approach. I'm pretty sure and it's like SOP to always do, do a needles approach um, at night. I don't think you would ever not do an ICLS approach if it's at nighttime. 
Oh, okay. That's at least that's what I would think. That's the only thing that makes sense to me, anyway. I could be wrong. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I've seen Harriers land on the ship, but not on the Hornets neat on the big that we ship. Had four Harriers flying in the mission. We haven't had like yeah, a, a, yeah, a that was a population uh... of Harriers in a long time. Yeah, I used to remember how to fly that one until I got the Tomcat. Now I have no clue how to fly the Harrier anymore. That's the problem with DCS. The more planes you buy, the more you forget. Yep, I have no <laughs> clue. Well, I'm the... pretty happy with just my F-18 and my F-5. <laughs> the uh... The F-18 and the AV-8 are pretty similar. They're they're, pre they're not super yeah. hard to switch back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard the stuff in there is kind of not that I would bad. have to say the, the F-5 is my, I think, the most fun aircraft to fly. For when, I don't know, yeah. for whatever reason, it's just a blast. F-5 is a blast, yeah, the, absolutely. The next mission I'm going to do is very F-5 heavy. It's uh, pre-1979 pre Iranian Air Force, so still the Imperial Iranian Air Force, and it's going to be a, <coughs> oh, a okay. border skirmish with the Soviets. So there's, oh, cool. There's, nice. There's going to be F-5s bombing a, a Soviet armored column that's uh, accidentally invaded Iran, and, <laughs> and then there's going to be uh, F-14s chasing MiG-25s flying at Mach 3 all around Shiraz Air Base, trying to take pictures of the air base. <laughs> And stuff. So it'll, it'll be kind of cool. And there's that's really cool. And I'm even going to put in some Imperial Iranian <laughs> F-86s. So if anyone flies the F-86, they can hop in an nice. F-86. Yeah, I, I don't even have that. My name is Saber. Yeah, <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. You got to get that. <laughs> Damn, uh, but I just noticed that F-5 that you shot down had yeah. taken like three AIM-120s before it went down, I think. I know, yeah. I, it, I, and then bullet shot went over my shoulder that scared the crap out of me. I was like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Just trying to wake you up. Yep, I saw yep. your... I saw Spud. I saw your 120 coming. I didn't even see uh, bullets 120 come through. Yeah, it came like literally right over my left shoulder, and I looked up and saw this thing go zipping by in the darkness, <laughs> and I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I saw the one going in for guns, I started singing that song in my head. I don't know <laughs> if you ever, have y'all ever seen that? Is that a Dos Gringos song? Um, yeah. yeah. I haven't listened, I was listening to some Dos Gringos the other day. <laughs> it's so funny. All their songs are hysterical. You know what's really funny is only people like us would un would think they're funny. Everyone else would be like, "This is stupid." Oh yeah, if you're not it, yeah, if, if you, yeah, you you would know what they were talking about. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Now, where did my oh my aim nine X went? Just it just ran out of gas. I'm really glad uh, I didn't hit radio robot because I probably should not have fired that. <laughs> Whoops. At uh, what point while you're engaging the F5? Uh, oh man, me and <laughs> Shadow came. 3648, I'll check. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm coming up on that moment in a second. Man, me and Shadow came within 2,000 feet of each other at one point while. Uh, yeah, you guys We came really actually close. pretty close to each other. I, should not I didn't even fired. realize he was on the F5 with me. I should not have fired that missile because that could have really easily gone for either you or radio. Oh, or yeah. I, yeah, I see that 9X that you shot. Yeah, where did yeah. that go? Yeah, and those heat seekers. Oh, damn, the F5 juke the 9X, it looks like? No, it was just out of gas. I fired it about five miles. Oh, and I see. You guys were pulling hard, trying to get mm -hmm. it. And so it just ran out of juice. Mm. I see, I see. Yeah, man, I got some, like, I got, like, two or three hits on that F5, but no uh, hmm. no critical damage on it, it seemed like, so I had to give it up after it was, almost ran out of ammo. It was blessed by the Ayatollah before it took off, so it was it had to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I had three solid hits on it until, uh... Oh, wait, hang on. Did he... Oh, he bailed out after I shot him the last time, actually, but, um... Uh, shadow still came in and popped them. Yeah, in the dark, it's hard to tell when a jet is going down. Like I chased an F five towards the, like way too close to the ground, thinking it was still alive, and he was just going for the deck. Huh. Okay, so I did right. get like uh, three kills this mission. I think that's pretty good. Three. I'm happy with that. That doesn't suck. Yeah, that was. Yeah, again, F five uh... got the Mig twenty one, but then one was the C one thirty, so it's a little cheap. It still counts. Still counts, absolutely. 
<laughs> that shit gets put on the side of the plane. Still only <laughs> counts as one. Yeah. Uh, uh, just just because it has four engines doesn't mean it's <laughs> it's more than one kill. That's the big decal, though. Yeah, it's the, it's the big one. <laughs> That's so. Weird. That was the tough thing for me when I turned it to engage that twenty nine with the sidewinder was with no radar in the Harrier, I had no clue how far away he was. I was just doing it on how fast he was changing aspect in the cockpit. Yeah. Well, you, with the Harrier, you can't be careful enough, that's for sure, because yeah, I always, like, am going into a bombing run, I pull out, and I look back, and I'm oh, look, there's a F, an Iranian F-14 on my tail. Oh, look, there's a MiG-21. Oh, look, there's a, <laughs> there's a MiG-29, and then I, then I blow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like one of the original Silkworm missions we did. I think uh, you you and uh, I forget who it was in the other Harrier had dove in on the site, and I wound up merged with three MiG-21s. Oh, yeah, because we were like, we're like, well, man, we're in a Harrier. We should not stick around here. So we just like one pass, haul ass, and you got left behind. <laughs> well, I, and then uh, I wound up shooting down two of them, and then the stupid Chinese destroyer decided that we all needed to die and launched about <laughs> 400 missiles. Damn Chinese. Oh, I remember that. Remember? Yeah. That destroyer was wicked. I was I was all psyched. I I had a lineup on the on the third MIG, all I had was guns left, but I was about to get him and then like the destroyer started shooting at The two pilots who got downed by the MIG twenty nines were like floating down on their parachutes right next to each other. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Like, no. Literally. Yeah, they could have like, reached out towards each other. Yeah. They're holding hands. <laughs> They're just chatting, it, chatting about as they go down, just screaming at each other from what, like, a nautical mile. They're like, well, that sucked. You were, you were supposed to get him. <laughs> no, you were supposed to get him. <laughs> <laughs>